Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about how to configure your 2020 home screen. First of all, the 2020 comes with three home screen tabs by default. You have the standard page, the metrics page, and the large map page. To configure the page that you're currently on, press the configuration button in the top left hand corner. When you're in the configuration page, you'll be able to remove existing metric boxes on the home screen by pressing the X on that box. You can also rename the active layout by pressing the settings button. Under your settings button, you can rename the layout or you can delete the active layout. Alternatively, you can also reset all layouts if you've made a mistake or would like to reset it to factory defaults. You can also add additional layouts by pressing the Add Layout button at the top of the screen. Once you've added a layout, it'll ask you to name it and you'll have to add metric boxes to that layout. Next, to modify this layout, let's press Add Widget in the bottom right hand corner. On the Add Widget page, first of all, you'll notice there are four tabs at the top of the screen. First of all, we have our Metrics tab, and on the right-hand side, we have Small, Wide, Tall, Large, and Extra Large. Not all metrics are available in all sizes, but depending upon how you want to customize the home screen, you may want to choose an alternative size to fit the box that you're looking to fit it in. In this case, let's go to the large button. This will give us all available large icons. To add one to the home screen, tap on the metric box you'd like to add. Once you tap on a metric box, it'll move it to your main configuration page in the center of the screen. To set the layout, to set the metric into your layout screen, Tap and hold on the metric, and then drag it to the location you'd like to add it to. Please note that as you're dragging it, you'll see a metric box turning red beneath it. This indicates that metric box, or in this case a map, will be deleted if I drop this metric into the map space. In this case, we're going to drop it over here to the right, and it's going to remove my vacuum and good right icon. Continue to add metrics until you're happy with what the home screen layout looks like. Next, let's look at a few other widgets we can add to the home screen. Again, you have your metrics options with the sizes on the right. Next, you have your control options. This would include things like our V-Drive control button, Delta Force control button, and also things like flip implement or our V-Drive quick start option. You can also quickly jump to things like simulated headlands and boundary recorder or a field summary button as well. Again on the right we have different sizes which change which options are available. By default the system includes a V-Drive and Delta Force control button. If you're adding additional control systems you'll have to add the control button to a home screen layout. Additionally if you go to a large button or an extra large button there may be additional quick actions or adjustments that will be by default on that control button. We also have the dashboard mini chart. This will allow you to set the dashboard mini chart size on the home screen. You have a full DMC option, a swath indicator only, a three-quarter dashboard mini chart, a three-quarter swath, and then no dashboard mini chart at all. To add this layout, press Apply DMC Size to Layout. Finally, we have a map option here on the right. Again, to add your map option to your layout, press Apply Map Size to Layout to add it. There are various sizes on the right-hand side, or if you don't want a map on your layout at all, press on No Map. Again, you will click and drag 
to press the map to lay the map in the location you want on the layout. To save the changes, press the check mark in the top left hand corner. If you'd like to cancel the changes, press cancel in the top right hand corner. Thanks for watching this video on how to configure your 2020 home screen. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to your precision planning dealer or precision planning product support. Thank you.